I'll just. No, I'll, don't. I'll, I'll, I'll just, don't. What? I'm gonna tell them what what you no. like. So Max likes L E G O S. Lego. Oh man, I forgot you can spell it. Max likes Legos. Um, Max likes karate. Right? You still like it? Yeah, but I just don't like doing it in a class. Yeah, you don't like doing it in a class. Um, Max likes math. Yeah. Max, in the spring and summer of 2011, uh, was coming home from preschool with scraped knees, like almost every day. And at the beginning, it was maybe a scraped knee once, uh, once a week, but towards, towards the end, it was every day. And he was falling a lot, he was tripping a lot. And we didn't know what was going on. We thought it was a growth spurt, perhaps. Maybe it was the new shoes that we got him. Um, and then finally one day we got a call from his school and they said that Max had fallen down on the playground and was not able to get up. And a week later M Max fell off of his bed in the morning and was unable to get up. And this was very concerning for us and so we immediately called the pediatrician back. Max was scheduled to uh, go in for an MRI in the morning of Friday, August 5th. And Max's mom was going to take him to the MRI. They had scheduled uh, it in the morning and then afterwards they were going to go for lunch and a movie. And I didn't think anything of it. I went off to teach. And halfway through the class, I called for a break. And I looked at my phone, and there's a text message from Audra saying that she's in the ambulance on, she's in an ambulance on the way to the hospital. And so um, I went to my TA, and I said, I don't know what's going on, but my son's in the hospital, and so I need you to end the class. I have to leave now. Um, and it. It was the most surreal out-of-body experience. I remember telling him that, but I remember it also being an out-of-body experience of just this, this is, you know, this is the worst possible thing that, I, that um, any parent could hear. So I didn't hear back from her until I was uh, in the car on, going south on the 405 towards Orange County, and I got a text from her that it's a tumor. And that's all that we knew. Uh, that, that was my uh, UCLA experience, hearing um, about my son being diagnosed with brain cancer. Max was diagnosed August 5th, 2011, and we were in the hospital for a month. We got home at the beginning of September, and uh, Max started chemotherapy immediately at that, at that point in time. And when he came from the hospital, he was partially paralyzed. He was still in diapers, and he was... Mommy. It's true, you were, you were in diapers again. Um, no, Mommy. Oh, I know, and you didn't like it at all. He had about four nightlights on in his room, and he was still really afraid of the dark. So I ran out to Target, and I got him a Cloud V Twilight Turtle and I brought it home and I thought, this, I hope it'll work. And I don't know if you remember this, Max. I hope it'll work. And do. you do? Okay, so we turned it on and Max went through all the different colors of stars. And he turned it to the green stars. Now green is his superhero color and it's the superpower color because we, three days into our hospital stay, right after surgery, decided that we we're gonna eat better, that we we're gonna utilize healing stories instead of the dominant narrative of cancer and that we we're gonna talk with Max about feeding the bad guys. So green has been his superpower color. So when he turned it on to that green, the green stars were projecting onto the ceiling. He said, look mommy, they're healing stars. And then he took that turtle and he lifted no, it up. No, not in your head. You lifted it up to the back of your head. No, not in that wasn't my. Head. And he said, "What did you say? You said, look, mommy, I'm healing." And yeah. at that point in time, I knew 
I knew that this was a really, really powerful product and one where he felt empowered to continue with that healing narrative. So I wrote to the company at that point in time um, to see if we could purchase them at a discount so we could give them to other kids in the hospital. About November 2011, or the end of October 2011, I should say, the uh, the Cloud B company, you know, responded that that they would give us Twilight Turtles to give away to to other kids. And we thought, wow, we better start a nonprofit. You know, this is going to be um, such a big sponsorship and a big relationship. So we start, I started the nonprofit at that point, just right here in our kitchen. Soon enough, together, we are also going to the post office and we were dropping off cases and cases and boxes of turtles to send to kids all over the country and it became all over the world. At this point in time, we've donated over $120,000 worth of these Twilight Turtles to kids around the world and the Cloudbeat company is taking the relationship further and they're actually creating a very special Twilight Turtle in honor of Max that will be uh, available by prescription in the hospital. So it's actually going to be a medical device because of the power it has to help kids heal and the stories we've heard from all of these families about kids who uh, who immediately are calmed in the hospital room and they feel you know a sense of home a sense of you know comfort when they're trying to sleep with all the beeping and all of the you know scary challenges of being in the hospital and so the Twilight Turtle really really helped with that with the rainbow loom, we have some pretty cool things with the rainbow loom. This past fall, the fall of 2013, Max had three brain surgeries at that time. And after the first one, Max, do you remember this? Listen, can you put that down so you can help me? Help me tell the story. I need your help telling the story. After the first brain surgery, we got him his very first rainbow loom kit. And at the same time, Jimmy Kimmel was requesting submissions for his loom suit, the suit of the loom, right? And the stars aligned and the fourth graders at Max's school, what did they do for you, Max? They made a video and they submitted it to Jimmy Kimmel and the entire Jimmy Kimmel team loved the, the video. The theme of the video was, you gotta meet this kid, right? And what did Jimmy do, Max? What did Jimmy do? He invited you to? Yes, he invited you to be on the show. So what happened? What happened when we decided to be on the show? Did they come and pick us up? In, in, in a big black car? Yeah? And we drove up to the studio in Hollywood, right? And then you got to go on the show and you got to meet Jimmy Kimmel. Was he really nice? Yeah, did you get to see the suit of the loom? Was it the coolest thing ever? And he gave you a loom cape. And then what else did he give you? Lego. Yeah, lots of Legos. And you got to meet Iron Man. And it was so cool. The very next weekend, we had his birthday party, which was the Loomathon. And because of the Jimmy Kimmel show, it kind of blew up. We ended up being way over capacity for the event. About 800 people attended. And we raised over $20,000 for Chalk Children's Hospital that uh, we, we later donated. And anything else, Max? You made with all of our friends and the Boy Scouts 5.5 miles of rainbow loom in a chain, in a continuous chain, 5.5 miles. But what did you tell Jimmy? How, how many miles did you tell Jimmy you wanted to make? 100. So we still have a goal. What's your favorite color in the rainbow loom? Tie-dye. Tie-dye. But I don't have it anymore. You don't have it anymore? The hardest part of being a parent when your child is, di is diagnosed with cancer is not knowing what the future holds and having to wake up every day not knowing if what you're doing is enough if what you're doing is the wrong thing, if what you're doing is the right thing, and really just the un, there are so many unknowns. There are a lot of things that 
I ask Max to do on a daily basis that most kids are never asked to do. And it's not easy at all. And he does it without crying, he does it without tears, and uh, he's the strongest, bravest kid that I know. So when Max was diagnosed, it changed our lives in so many ways forever and it's a really complex and dynamic challenge because I would I would change that if I ever had the chance I would go back if I ever had you know the first chance I would go back but he has given us so many opportunities to grow and to change and to be better and to do good things in the world and to connect with the most amazing people in the world and to build a community and to be involved on a really deep level to live more deeply to be healthier, you know, to thrive as a family. So in many ways, I feel like yeah, he's great. saved our lives and, and to experience his courage um, every single day, I think about, well, if Max can do this, I can do whatever it may be. And so he is my hero and my inspiration. And I feel like this experience has given us depth and perspective. Life is short, you never know what is you know down the road you never know what to encounter in your future so take 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 it on take your future on take that next step on take ownership of it and do something that matters in the world and this has given us the opportunity to just jump into life and make the most of everything <laughs>